Hi, my name is Andrew Johnston, uh, president of Energy Thought Summit, and I'm with Elizabeth Coach today here at the Chicago Advanced Energy Stakeholders Meeting. Elizabeth, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Great. We just had a great conversation, learned a lot about the energy and transportation nexus. Um, why don't you tell us a little about yourself and some of the things you, you do? Thank you. Um, so I work at UIC. I'm currently Director of Program and Outreach for the Energy Initiative. Um, there we look at different programs across different disciplines that relate to energy and sustainability. Um, also closely related is our director who also is the director of the Joint Center on Energy Storage Research. It's a Department of Energy hub housed at Argonne National Laboratory. Additionally, I'm also editor-in-chief for an international journal, the MRS um, Energy and Sustainability a Review Journal. It's a new journal, just under two years old, and we're looking at really controversial topics that are international, that address um, issues from climate change to energy and sustainability issues globally um, for developed and develop, developing countries. So um, there's so this wow. this talk today was really quite interesting because it brought together really some um, interesting perspectives. So there was a Chicago perspective, there mm -hmm. was a New York perspective, which is very very related. Yeah. Um, because it's trans transportation related. Yeah. And then you had. Um, an industry representative as well. And yeah. so you get to see how um, there's challenges that we have when it comes to energy and transportation. Um, and you get to see some of the solutions and, and you get to have the conversation among people who are all interested in this. And, and this is something that is key across all of my three hats that I wear. Mm -hmm. So um, when I look at UIC, I, I look at these young people, they're, they're our future, right? Um, we really need to educate them yeah. and, and have them understand the importance of energy and, and how it really infiltrates every part of our life. And it's so interesting because uh, you look at Chicago and historically from uh, Fermi to Teller to Westinghouse, the, the leaders of energy, a lot of them got their start in Chicago. Yes. How does UIC help the community of Chicago reach that energy future for itself? What does UIC, tell us about your energy initiative. Yes. So the Energy Initiative um, is really, it's, it's kind of a grassroots organization Good. at right. UIC, and we really try to focus on um, our students, on research potentials, right, and build research agendas, um, but also make the connections between not just UIC, students, faculty, research, but also other institutions. Partners. Yes. Argonne National Lab. Yes. Advanced Ar Energy Chicago. Yes. Holland and Knight. Yes, and Great. some of our other partners were here at this event as well. Like who? Um, ISIN, so they're at Northwestern. Yep. Um, I didn't see anybody from University of Chicago, but they're one of our partners as well. Great. And IIT as well. And obviously, you know, our our other campus down in Urbana, um, there were, but you know, we're, we're sister campuses, so. That's wonderful. And you know, what, what I love about that is you tie in your UIC work, your knowledge exchange work with the journal, and then you work with one of the foremost leaders in storage, George Crabtree. Yes. And that's just right down the road from UIC. The mm -hmm. level of connective tissue mm -hmm. really is special. Yes. What What do you take away for each one of your hats moving forward in this conversation around advancing energy in Chicago? How important is it that Chicago be a part of that, uh, what you sort of saw, you said some of the controversial, mm -hmm. some of the innovative and inspiring yes. next steps? Well, What's there's that so much happening in Chicago yeah. and you know, even just with the technology that's existing, which yes. it, it, it advances incrementally, right? Mm -hmm. So every single year, the technology we have, whether it's um, energy storage or other energy technologies, they're constantly getting better. Yeah. Um, Jay Caesar's role is to, to look at the next generation battery, right? Yes. What's the next thing that's Beyond lithium. Market. Yes, exactly. And so there's, and that, you know, you're looking forward. So here we're, we're so we're dealing with, um, challenges today we're using the technology that's available which is being and we're finding innovative ways to do it right yeah. so even you know when you look at cta and what they're thinking about yeah. and what comet is thinking about too they know they need to revamp um the way they look at their their system you know they know consumers are are key yeah. to to making their future um, a viable future not I keep, to be a dinosaur right? absolutely i keep hearing in the story of 
the premium customer experience of the future at ComEd. And certainly, that's not old ComEd talking anymore. No. That is a new ComEd entirely. Do you get to partner with ComEd at UIC? We're working toward that. Great. So, yes, yeah, so they do have some uh, microgrids planned. One is by the, by the Illinois Medical District, and yes. our West Campus is connected. So we're hopeful, we're in early, early discussion. Sure. So we're hopeful that there's something that we can do there. We're pretty much, the UIC campus is, is set up where we can start to look at developing our own microgrid yeah. and, and working with ComEd on that as well. So there's other opportunities besides the universities. We have Clean Energy Trust here in Chicago as well, the Energy Foundry. There's yep. so much going on here. Chicago has the potential to be this huge energy innovation ecosystem, right? And with already, we're, as mentioned in, in the talk today, that transportation, this is, you know, the railroad hub of the U.S., if not even the world, yeah. right? So there's so much going on here, and there's so many ways that energy can play within that. Um, we have the Great Lakes right behind us here, right? And there's there's this that water, water energy nexus. Yes, all day. Yes, we have a summer institute on sustainability and energy. Um, it's our sixth year of coming up this summer. It's for students, and um, the focus will be on water and energy nexus. So and when is that? That is in August. So early Great. August. It's for about two weeks, and it's for undergraduate, mostly graduate students and professionals, Great. Um, with a few advanced undergraduates. And do you have a website for that? We do. We do. It's um. Size at UIC, size .uic .edu, and you can find everything on our energy initiative website as well at UIC. So if you Wonderful. Google UIC energy initiative, you'll find it all. We're developing other programs that are related as well. So when you talk about batteries, so we talked about batteries today too, one of the key components of that, of that is electrochemistry. So there also we are building um, some educational opportunities. Wow. So. Elizabeth, it sounds like you yourself are at an intersection of all that's happening in Chicago. It, I think you are a great example of the exciting multi-faceted uh, conversation that we're having here in the city. Uh, I don't think it's becoming an energy hub. I think it may already be one. Well, Elizabeth, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.